Got a bunch of items here from last month, the month of January. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is this Lucky Craft LV500. This is in the MS Pearl Wakasagi color. I don't throw the LV500s a lot, only because they, they sink incredibly fast. But if you want something that you can burn really fast, like uh, retrieving the bait really fast, this is a, a really nice bait for that. I normally opt for the LVRTOs, which are a little bit lighter, they're a little bit shorter. This one, because it's heavier, it's got this really aggressive nose weight to it. So when it starts to sink, it sinks downward like this but it sinks so fast that I, I have to be kind of choosy about where I use it. So it's either burning it out at some of the shallower waters like the ponds and backwaters that I fish at or normally where I use it is out at Shasta. I picked up another Picasso swim jig. This is in the sunfish pattern. I like these Picasso swim jigs. They just don't have a lot of the quarter ounce sizes at the shop that I buy these at. They have a lot of like the half ounce ones, which the half ounce ones are fine, but uh, they, they sink too fast, kind of like that LV, that LV500 I was just showing you guys. It just sinks way too fast. I normally like to use the quarter ounce in the colder months just because I can move them a lot slower and they don't sink all the way down to the bottom and get caught up in all the muck and the weeds and stuff. I said it before and I'll say it again. I really like the head pattern on these Picasso baits. I got two packages of these Bruiser Baits Avengers. There's seven to a bag here. I got one in a camo pattern and then another in a black and blue pattern. I find myself using black and blue a lot in the wintertime and I almost never use it in the summertime. That black and blue pattern for me at least, I find works really well when I have a lot of overcast and there's not a lot of algae blooms and stuff like that. You get this color and it seems to work really, really nicely in the winter time. The other one here is a more natural color. This is the camo. And I think the camo pattern would probably work fine in the summertime, but I think you would have to have a, a little bit more contrast. It looks like it's got a, a, a really good color for that watermelon there but this other side looks like it's just like a straight pumpkin on the other side of the main body at least. Again, I think summertime I would probably use this a little bit more, but I think just because of contrast, it, it looks so natural looking, it's gonna blend into its surroundings and I try to have a little bit of contrast. I'll probably be a little bit choosy about the places that I throw this particular lure. Very nice looking bait. I picked up another Z-Man chatter bait. This is the Project Z in a 3 8 ounce. I like the Z-Man Project Z chatter baits. I don't like how Z-Man doesn't have a lot of the more natural shad patterns. It seems like there's probably three patterns that I really tend to like, but they don't have like a lot of the silvers and whites or the silvers with black or the silver white and black. Um, if you guys will remember when I made that video about all of the swim jigs I got from Dirty Jigs, and I bought like 10 of them, and I bought all the different shad patterns that they had, that's, those are the colors that I tend to like. It seems like Z-Man only has like this one and then a couple of the sexy shad style patterns, and that's it. The other ones are kind of just like black and blue and bluegill style, style patterns, which those aren't bad. I just really like to mimic a, a shad as opposed to a bluegill, but it is nice. I like that this Project Z has this better head profile on it. It's got a really nice large hook on it. And you know, it's the original Chatterbait, so you can't really go wrong with the original Chatterbait. I picked up two of the Savage Gear line through trouts. Now it says line through trout, but only one of them is in a trout pattern. This one over here on the right is a juvenile trout, and the one over here on the left is a dirty silver pattern. In the picture here, it actually looks like they're quite big, but the reason why I got them is because they're actually quite small. If you look at it up against my hand, six inches in length, one and a quarter ounces, and they're slow sink. <clears throat> so you don't have to throw this on, on specialty gear or anything like that. A bait like this, you can throw on like a heavier rod. I mean, it's got a, a regular size treble hook on it, so you might want to be choosy about the rod that you throw this bait on. But I think that just a normal 
you know, like a heavy crankbait rod. If you had like a, a deep cranking rod, like a seven foot six or an eight foot crank, deep cranking rod, this would be a good candidate to, uh, for that rod. I really like that color too. It's just a, another natural color. And then this trout color here, which, you know, it's not the most realistic looking trout in the world, but I've seen, I've certainly have seen a lot worse than this. It's got three segments in it and Savage Gear to me does their soft plastic style swim baits the right way. I, I really like the way that they feel. If you guys have seen the the videos that they have on YouTube about these things swimming in the water, they have a very seductive action to them. It's a really good looking lure and it's manageable. You know, these are only six inches in length, so you can you don't have to have a specialty swim bait rod to, to throw these bad boys. So, and you're probably gonna get bit a little bit more often with these than you would with the big, you know, 12 inch or even the eight inch ones, just because these ones aren't, they're, they're just not as imposing. I bought these Robo Worms. These are the seven inch straight tail in the Ox, Oxblood Light Red Flake. These are slightly different than the ones that you're gonna find in like the six inch or the five inch, just because they're a little fatter. If you were to buy the, the Robo Worms, and I think they're called the fat, they're the, they're the ones I think that come in the yellow package. If you were to buy the, five inch and six inch in the fat version, this is exactly what they look like. Or if you buy the seven inch in the regular version, this is the profile that you get, which is the same as the six and five inch that are in that fat classification, I guess. The normal rubber worms are a lot more slender looking than this and just very plain. There's not all these ribs on them. They do have this little segment here in the, in the middle that is smooth, just like this one, but they don't have all of this this ribbing on it. So Livingston Lures contacted me recently and they wanted to um, try out some of their baits. I've never tried anything out by Livingston Lure. In fact, what you're looking at is the first Livingston Lure that I've ever even unpackaged. So uh, I'm interested to see what these are about. This is gonna be an adventure. We'll try them out together. If I like them, I'll let you know. If I don't like them, I'll let you know. This is the Schoolmaster black back chrome shad. So I guess this is a sinking lure. It kind of looks like it's a Like it's a topwater lure, but and I don't know if this one makes any noise. This one says it's programmable new multi-touch Four modes to choose from EBS multi touch technology electronic bait fish sounds so I guess you would have to Short out these I guess the water contact and all this at the same time will make the noise sound off. There's that one this other one is called the Howler Dream Master. Classic 57. This is Gunnersville Craw color. But I just heard it a minute ago. Yep, there it is. Let's see if I can get it to make that noise again. So that's that bait fish noise that they make, I guess. We'll see if they work. This other one we have is DM Junior. So I guess that would be Dive Master Junior. Eight foot, 60. And this is Oki Craw. Kind of similar to the one I just showed you, just not as much detail. It's making noise. It sounds nothing like the but like the other one. Here's the other one. So there's that one. And then we have these two jerk baits. This one is the Jerkmaster 121D 6D in blue truce. Very similar looking to like a Vision 110. It's got a weight transfer ball bearing system in them like most of the better jerk baits that I like out there do. Hope you guys could hear that. I'm going to do it again. Very interesting. You guys should comment below and tell me if you guys have had any successes that you would contribute to the actual sound coming from these lures. So this one here is the Jerkmaster 121C64 in Jinrin or Ginrin. This color's kind of interesting too. It's got like a flat paint job on it. Never seen anything like that. I hope you heard that. This one's making that croaking sound that that first one made. This one with all, all the detail on the body. Interesting baits here. I will let you guys know. We'll see what happens. Last but certainly not least, I got some new stuff from Beast Coast Tungsten. They are 
we're starting to get into the terminal tackle game. The cool thing about what Beast Coast Tungsten is doing, if you wanted to buy, like I will show you some of these uh, flipping weights that they sent me here. If you wanted to buy five flipping weights, like you normally would, or let's say in this size is a quarter ounce. So I think you would get four or five. If you bought them from another company, you would probably get about that much in the package. However, if you wanted to buy one, you can buy just one and they'll charge you accordingly. If you wanted to buy seven, they'll charge you for seven. So I guess the point that I'm trying to make is you can buy as many or as little as you want, which I think is kind of cool. And they have a very good price. I haven't seen what the quality of these are like. Obviously you haven't seen me even break these out of the package yet, um, but they look like they're pretty nice. So I'll let you know how, how they work out, but here are some of their bomb, this is what they call a bomb flipping weight. That's in a quarter ounce. Here are some of their bomb flipping weights in half ounce. Here are some of their bobber stoppers there. These are two of their free flow worm weights in half ounce. A teardrop style drop shot weight. They call this the transmit R. And then a couple of the pencil style weights. This is the skinny D drop shot weight in an eighth of an ounce. So I don't think I need to break them out of the package. I just wanted to show you guys um, that they're actually doing this and the turnaround time is supposed to be pretty good. If you guys were to order them, you can order them from East Coast website. I'll leave it down in the description. That way you guys can order some up for yourself. They also sent me a, I guess this is a new color that they're making in one or all of their jigs. This is the Finesse Dragon Jig and the color is Versace Craw. Very natural looking craw pattern. Looks just like a basic crawdad. It's got all these shiny strands, which you've come to recognize from the Beast Coast Tungsten brand. All right, let's recap. We got the Bruiser Baits, the Avenger in black and blue color. The Bruiser Baits, the Avenger in camo color. The seven inch straight tail Robo Worm in oxblood light red flake. Two of the Savage Gear line through trouts. They're both six inches in the slow sink. One is the juvenile trout, the one on the bottom and the other one is dirty silver color. A quarter ounce Picasso swim jig in the sunfish pattern. A Lucky Craft LV500 in MS Pearl Wakasagi. A Z-Man Project Z Chatterbait in pearl ghost color. The Livingston Lures Team Livingston Series Schoolmaster in black back chrome shad. The Livingston Lures Team Livingston Series Howler Dream Master Classic in Gunnersville Craw. The Livingston Lures Pro Series DM Junior in Oki Craw. The Livingston Lures Tournament Series Jerkmaster 121D in Blue Truce. The Livingston Lures Tournament Series Jerkmaster 121C in Ginrin or Jinrin. The Beast Coast Tungsten Finesse Dragon Jig in Versace Craw color. And last but not least, the new Beast Coast Tungsten Terminal Tackle. All right, guys. That's all I have for this week. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate that. It helps other people find this video. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and or Facebook, I'll put the links down in the description. Also, I'll put a link right up here. I'm always posting different stuff on Instagram and Facebook. And most of the stuff that you guys see right here has already been stuff that I posted on those social media outlets. So if you guys want to see them ahead of time or see what I'm kind of doing behind the scenes or in preparation for the next videos coming out, make sure you guys uh, follow me on those two social media outlets. Stay tuned for the next video. I've got a couple more coming out. And again, really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.